See, Satan is not in hell. He doesn't rule hell. Satan will be there with all the unbelievers. All the abominable. Hey, Chief, we got, we got Bibles. Would you like a Bible man gospel track? You see, you see this little this yes, woman God. desires to be delivered. Delivered from bondage. She's humble. Hallelujah. You see, ma'am, would you like a Bible? Tell me if y'all can hear me. Would you like free? We had a free Bible for you. It's God's wisdom. He spoke you through me. Let me know if you can hear me on here. As in, uh, it gave them an idea. God gave them the words to write on page. And those words Hallelujah. are right for us. And that life was a light in man, and you need light. Because as long as you're in the darkness, you're going to stumble. You're not going to know where you're going. Because you have no vision. You're like a Bible? You're all over you. You don't understand. Do you not know that these seeds are being planted? Are you going to be good soil? God bless you. Would you repent of sin? You're welcome. Here's all gospel yeah. track. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. You have a good one. Mm -hmm. Yes, praise God. You cannot say thank you, God, for this money. Hold, hold on, listen. Yes, ma'am. You can't say praise God for the things of this world when you use the world to get it. You thank God. Can y'all hear me? You another day. But then by your work, I don't know why I was doing that a while ago. You said do not work by humble by words. But yeah, we out here. Uh, we in the hood. We in the trenches, like I was saying earlier. Y'all probably didn't hear me. We in the projects for real. You know, place like this where I grew up at. This ain't where I grew up, but places like this where I grew up at. In the projects, you know. Woman right here getting delivered. But you love darkness rather than light because of evil. That's the kind of basic study. Well, we have free Bibles, Bill. You want a free free Bible? We got free Bibles. Gospel track. Y'all hear me? Y'all don't think demons real. I'm about to show y'all. This woman getting delivered right now. Look. You know, the, the husband yeah. of Lot's daughter, Lucy, Satan. Come they mocked Lot when he Come said out. that they were going uh, to be destroyed and he tried to call everybody in the house. I command God destroyed you them. to come out. You see, the, the preaching of the gospel is foolishness to those who are perishing. Lucy. And it's displayed by our fruits. If you're not listening to the gospel, if you don't have a fear Lucy. that God's going to destroy you for your Lucy. sin, and you can make this Jesus. lie in your mind and you believe and you the lie that you're always going to be a sinner, Jesus. this, this will be the condemnation. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For what the man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to the flesh, shall of the flesh reap corruption. For he that soweth to the flesh, shall the flesh reap corruption. For he that soweth to the flesh, shall the flesh You cannot sow to the flesh and do what you want to do. Uh, fornicating with women, smoking your weeds, your black, your, your cigarettes, your crack, or whatever else you guys are smoking. And then you're going to enter into heaven. God will recall all these works. Real out here, man. You know what I'm saying? Places like this, preachers ain't gonna go. But it's places like this that need the gospel the most. You know, I grew up in a place like this, man. Violence, murder, killing, prostitution, drugs. It's hard to find brothers that's willing to come out here to places like this. So I thank God for the brothers he done sent to my life to come out here. We in the projects for real. This woman getting delivered right now on the side of the road. Come out the stomach, come out the feet, come out the hands. Lose her mind and go back to the pits of hell. Yes, Lord. Do it, Jesus. Do it, Jesus. Do it, Jesus. Come out, there is no other option. Death, death, Choose you this day who you will serve. Who is the Satan or God? I ain't gonna keep recording that, though. It's real, man. You know, we got a group of guys over there mocking us. She was just with this dude. And uh, God got a hold of her right here, this lady. He mad over there across the street. Like he want to kill us, but you know it is what it is. Examine your works today, please, God. Or do they please we out here. Examine what you do in this life. Is it to please yourself? Is it gain treasures on the earth? This woman having a, having an encounter with Jesus right now. Today is the day of her salvation because she believed. Today is the day of salvation. See, I grew up in a spot place like this, man. Either project for real. Well, it ain't no hope. So much murder, violence, and drugs.
And you will bless him with the things that you need. I'm talking about where you grow up without a mama and a father. Where you grow up on welfare. Section 8. Thank you, Lord. God had a... God had a warrant out for her arrest today. Hallelujah. She just got delivered from demons, real demons coming out of that woman. Let's she tired of being bound. Woman dog loose. Hallelujah. What, what Jesus say? Woman dog loose from dying infirmities. You don't want to be a friend of the world. You don't want to be here to please man. Because friends with the word of enmity with God, you choose to be a friend Thank you, Lord. of the world, you make yourself the enemy of God. If you're living in sin, I just want y'all to see, man. God moving out here. Yes, you need to Mother praise Jane. God with your mortal body before you are destroyed. What is it profit a man to gain the whole world? What is it profit a man to have one orgasm with a girl and you get AIDS and you lose your soul? Even if you're not punished in this life, it will come to account on that day of judgment. You cannot escape the wrath of God. Come on, Lord. Fear him while you can. Deliverance. Freedom. Thank you, Lord. Blessing the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Out of her mouth. Blessing the Lord out of her mouth. See, see, when, when you are obedient to God, God can use anybody. Yes, God. You got to be holy, though. Thank you, Jesus. You got to be holy, though. You got to live righteous, though. Yes, Lord. Jesus, I know. Peter, I know. But who are you better live this life? Come on, brother. The anointing of God ain't going to rest on anybody. This is the true gospel. Man, I feel the, the Holy Ghost. The angels will scream this in those last days. Thank you, what Jesus. What will you do in today's day? We're living in the we got Bibles over here. Even if y'all want a Bible. The of the Lord, God can call for your soul tonight. Are you Thank waiting you, to Jesus. meet the Lord? If you die tonight, heaven or Thank hell. Thank you, Lord. Jesus said, if you don't repent, you will perish. For those who believe in the Lord and turn from their sins. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Father, we ask that you pour out right now on this woman, Lord God. Lord, you said that if we come to you, you will in no wise cast us out, Lord God. Lord, we believe you've driven this woman to your service today, Lord. Because in her heart, she desired to be set free. Lord, we ask that you set her free today, Lord, from every bad habit, Lord God, from every stronghold, Lord God, that has had her bound over the years, Lord. Every heartbreak, Lord God. Oh, hallelujah. Every heartbreak, Lord Jesus. Lord, we ask that you bring healing to this woman right now, God. Let her feel your love, Lord Jesus. Let her feel your presence, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We bind the hands of Satan right now. We command you to loose this woman in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you, Jesus. Visit her today, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, mend her broken heart, Lord God. Renew her mind, Father, in the name of Jesus. Regulate her mind, Lord Jesus. Do what only you can do, Father. Yes. Lord, let her know that she loved today. Thank you, Jesus. Let her know that she's important, Lord. Let her know that she has a purpose, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Separate her from everybody in her life that means her no good, Father. In the name of Jesus. Lord, send your power today, Father God. We command every foul spirit in the name of Jesus to come out of her right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Loose this woman, Satan. You have no power over this woman. She has encountered the power of God today. And we declare freedom in the name of Jesus. We declare salvation in the name of Jesus. You are loved today. You are important today. And God loves you. Give me a hug. God bless you. Thank you. You got a Bible? Did you get a Bible? Uh, you look better now. After he prayed she looked different you. already, don't she? This is your Bible. How can they call on him whom they have not believed? You know, right and how can they believe? Said. 
I said, godly sorrow is of great gain. And who not that heard? Sorrow. And how can they hear without a preacher? Oh, and how Lord. can he preach except he be sent? And the Lord sent us here today to announce that Come this on, is the day of the Lord. This yeah, is the yeah, day of reckoning. Yeah, mad. Brothers and mad sisters, yeah. understand, yeah. it's not enough to know the word or, or it's not enough to have a Bible, but you must understand that Jesus came to set the captives free. And he said, whom the set 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 free. Okay, how you doing? How you doing? It's free indeed. Give me a hug. Can I have a hug? How you doing? Okay, bless you. Bless you, nice Brother Jordan. You. Okay. Look, God was talking to me in the house, and I was going to ask y'all, I remember you from somewhere. You probably seen me down there at the bus station or something. What's your name? Jordan. Jordan? Yes, ma'am. Your husband is the one in the blue in here? But God was talking to me yesterday in the house because I was praying. You were so hard. Yes, ma'am. You know, I may not look like a good man, but I do pray. I ain't focused on the outward appearance. I know that, but I'm just saying. And, um, and, um, and, um, Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. But but what I'm saying is, God is telling about this trouble. It's a line, and and, and if y'all can broadcast it for anybody y'all out here, it's a line coming, God. See, yes, ma'am. It's coming to Dayton, Ohio. Mm. God was really talking to me about this line. Yes, ma'am. Today you must repent. Okay, all right, thank you. I'm trying to tell you that, that your sins may be blotted out. Oh, what I miss. And that times of refreshing God may come from the presence of the Lord. He told me to spread the See, you need to yes, be right. refreshed in yeah, the presence right. of the Lord. The Bible praying, says, in the, in the house, presence of the Lord, I told God, there is fullness of when joy. I pray, I pray hard. And at thy right, right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Lord. just prayed in the back door. Be the Lord. Yesterday He'll give you a hope. And I said, God, I said, a hope man. that the world said, will never God. be able to give to you. And he said, you do see a line all night. And it was God talking to somebody. And we God tell me. Oh, you are. And, and he said. There's a hope that the Lord will give. He said, a is coming. Mm. And he said. That you will never ever be able to, to God. God. You can't find this hope in a university. You can't find this hope in the board. You can't find this hope in social networks. You can't find this hope nowhere else but in the arms of Jesus Christ. In Christ alone, upon this rock, he told Peter to take the hell to not prevail because he's going to build his heart. He said, upon this rock, I will build my church. Let me set y'all up better, man. God moving out here. What's up, Steve? What's up, Randy? We out here. Like I said, we out here in the projects, man. We out here in the hood today. I'm going to try to set up someone. I was a thief. Nobody came to my rescue. Nobody came to my life. When I was in the hole in solitary confinement in Mahoney County Jail, nobody came to me. Nobody wrote to me. Nobody called on me. But I'm here to tell you, when I started to get on the side of my bed, and I saying, started to read my word, and I started to... This brother right here got shot Jesus, in the back of the head. I'm telling you, God raised him from the dead. Sent him to preach the gospel. my life that I cannot deny Jesus. See, it's hard to deny Jesus when you really walk with him. How many want to walk with Jesus? I'm here to tell you that the Bible says he's a friend that
that's sticking closer than a brother. That when you really got a friend, he will stick close to you through thick and thin. And I'm here to tell you, whatever you're going through, Christ alone will stick close to you. Christ alone will cover you. Christ alone will lift you up. Christ alone will strengthen you. You need to be strengthened. And the Lord, he will give you the strength. See, the power is in the Holy Ghost. See, some people, don't, they think they saved, but they're really not saved. Because if you are really converted, you will go out to the lost, and you will make his name great. You will lay hands on his sick. The Bible says in the book of Matthew, he said, heal the sick. Yes. The Bible says, he says, cleanse the leper. The Bible says, he says, raise the dead. He said, cast out demons. I'm here, we just cast out demons. This ain't no joke. This is a rescue mission. Yes. He said also in that scripture, he said, freely I give to you and freely you shall receive. Yes. I'm here to tell you today that God wants to rescue somebody. Somebody is on their last leg in great sickness. He said, I'll leave the 99 Preach, yeah. and go after the one. See, people think God is after the thousands. But it's the one soul because he knows when his word becomes flesh and dwell amongst you. He knows when he gets a hold of you. He knows that he's going to use you for something great. Something great. See, the Bible is clear in its approach. Peter. Peter. He love me. Peter, feed my sheep. As far as you can look, there are sheep hanging in the balance. As far as you can look out your window where you sit right now, right across from your, your, your house or your apartment, there's somebody that needs a touch from God. There's somebody that needs a touch from the master. See, there's, there's something about when the Lord brings into you. He gives you a life that is unexplainable. This life that he gives you. He has the power to lay it down. And pick, take it up again. Yeah. See, there's a power yeah. that the Holy Ghost will give you. He told them in the book of Acts, chapter 1, verse 8. He said, Terry, here. That word means to wait. Terry, here. Until. You, he said, Terry, here until you be filled. Wait He's gonna blow the trumpet and that's it. I tell you be and do with power from on high. See you're gonna be filled with the Holy Ghost. And he said then you will be witnesses in Judea, Jerusalem, and Samaria and the uttermost parts of the world. See, God wants you to be a witness with Jesus. But you need the power of the Holy Spirit to live holy, to live right. See, there's only one way to live, and that's the way of righteousness, the way of holiness. We don't have too many holiness preachers out here no more. They ain't got too popular. They ain't got too prideful. They ain't got too educated. But this gospel will always be preached to the poor. Understand, my brothers, the day that we are living in. See, he sent Jonah to a, a city. He sent Jonah to that great city of Nineveh. He said, Jonah, go unto that city of Nineveh. So the have come up to me. Uh, audio you know, wrestle. Yeah. Some of I us are wrestling with the call of God on our lives. I'm good on battery, right? 
I'm gonna see. We don't wanna be ridiculed. We don't wanna be persecuted for righteousness' sake. Alright, y'all. I'm about to. Uh, Y'all been coming. God bless y'all. I'm about to end this live. I just wanted to show y'all, you know, a little bit of that. The Lord set that woman free a while ago. I'm telling you, it's real. The Lord said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. That's what we out here doing. Hallelujah. So y'all pray for us. Y'all be blessed.